In this video, I'm going to show you how to write an equation of a line. And I'll go over the typical situations that we have to know. And you see, I wrote down the notes, the formulas on the board for you guys, right? And I also typed them out right here. You can go down this page. The link to the PDF is in the description box. It has all the information and all the formulas that you should know. Okay, so in order for us to write an equation of a line, first, we need to have the slope. And depends on the information. If we are given two points, then we can use this formula. And once we have the slope, we are going to use the point slope form. y minus y1 is equal to m times the parentheses x minus x1. And usually, the question will ask us to write the answer in the slope intercept form at the end. So be sure you isolate the y from here, you get y is equal to mx plus b. Okay? And this is the first example because we are given two points and we have to write an equation in the slope intercept form that has these two points. First of all, before I use this formula, let's label. This is the first point, so I would like to label this as x1, y1. This is the second point, so x2, y2. And then we can go ahead, calculate the slope with that formula. And this is going to be y2, which is 3. This was a 3. Okay, so let's put down 3 right here. And then minus y1, which is 0. And then this is over x2, which is negative 4. And then once again, we we'll subtract x1, which is 5. Let's just put that down. And now, we just have to work this out. 3 minus 0 is 3 over negative 4 minus 5 is negative 9. And as you can see, we can reduce this, right? 3 over negative 9, this is going to be negative 1 over 3. And I will suggest you guys to put the negative on the top. So this is negative 1 over 3, like that. And we have the slope now. Next, we are going to use the point slope form. And you see, you have to remember, the answer at the end is going to be an equation because we are trying to write an equation of the line, right? Right here, this is going to help us set up. And in this equation, the x and y in white, they will stay the same. We just have to plug in the m value for the slope, x1, y1, this point right here. You could have used this point, but since I labeled this as x1, y1 already, so let's just be consistent use this point for the x1 and y1. And now let's go ahead and do it. So let's write down y minus y1. This is equal to m times x minus x1. The more you write this down, the more we can remember, OK? OK, now y stays the same. Minus y1 is 0. And this is equal to m is negative 1 over 3. So let's just put that down. And we have the parentheses. x is just the x minus x1 is 5. So we have x minus 5 inside. If the question is asking us for points of form, we are done right here. That's why we should use this, just in case. However, since this question is asking us to have the answer in slope intercept form, we do have to isolate the y, and we should not have the parentheses. This is just y minus 0. This is not bad, because this is just y. right? doesn't matter for the minus 0. And we have to take care of these parentheses. We have to distribute this tribute, right? Negative 1 over 3 times x is just negative 1 over 3. And put the x on the side. Next, we have negative times negative, so that will give us plus. 1 over 3 times 5, this is like 5 over 1. So you do top times top, bottom times bottom. 1 times 5 is 5, over 3 times 1 is 3. So 1 over 3 times 5 is 5 over 3, and that was positive at the end. That's it. This right here is the equation that will satisfy this condition. And now let's look at the second situation. For the second example, I'm going to go over how to write an equation of a line in this slope-intercept form. 
and that line shall be perpendicular to the given line 10x plus 2y is equal to 9 and this line that we shall have the point on it 20 comma 3 so you see the question is talking about perpendicular line we have to talk about perpendicular slope okay if this is your given line y is equal to mx plus b the slope of any line that's perpendicular to the original it is going to be the opposite sign and we have to do the reciprocal this is the notation for the perpendicular slope okay and this formula right here negative 1 over m it just means opposite sign reciprocal you should remember this phrase okay that will help you to remember what to do well this is a given line do we know the slope of this given line right away no we don't because this line right here it's not in the form of y is equal to mx plus b well we just have to do some algebra work then in that case we can just figure out the slope after we are done isolating the y right so let's do that let me write down 10 x plus 2y and this is equal to 9 first we are going to get rid of the 10x so that's minus 10x minus 10x so that this and that will be gone and then this is positive 2y that's equal to let's write down the x term so that's negative 10x and this is a positive 9 just like this next this is 2 times y so we have to divide this by 2 divide this by 2 and also divide this by 2 so that this and that will cancel y is now by itself y will be negative 10 over 2 it is what negative 5 and then we have the x and this is just positive 9 over 2 that's just ready down plus 9 over 2 this is not the answer this is just the line of the original right <laughs> and from here we will be able to determine the slope of the original line the number in front of the x the original slope is negative 5 right the original slope and now the question is what is the perpendicular slope first of all we have to make it opposite sign this was negative now this will be positive and then we do the reciprocal this was 5 which is the same as 5 over 1 the reciprocal will be 1 over 5 so this is 1 over 5 and it is positive and this is the slope that we are going to use okay so slope right here and now use the point slope form and you see the question tells us we have to have this point right so this will be the x1 y1 that and now let's go ahead and use the point slope form let me write it down y minus y1 and this is equal to well for the slope we have to use the perpendicular slope so let me write it down as the perpendicular slope and we have x minus x1 like this so nice and just plug in the numbers and work it out okay right here we have y is just the y minus y1 is 3 and then this is equal to perpendicular slope 1 over 5 and this is parentheses x is still the x minus x1 which is the 20 so let's put down 20 right here this is the setup at the end we just have to isolate the y and be sure you also take care of the parentheses so let's do that with the parentheses this is y minus 3 and this is equal to i will take the 1 over 5 distribute distribute 1 over 5 times x is just 1 over 5x and then 1 over 5 times negative 20 it's going to be minus 4 you can think about this as 1 times 20 which is 20 on the top and then 5 times over 1 so 20 over 5 which is 4 and that's the minus so we took care of the parentheses now what do we do next this is y minus 3 so we have to add 3 here they will cancel add 3 here at the end we get y is equal to 1 over 5x negative 4 plus 1 we get minus 1 and this right here 
is the answer that will satisfy this condition. And now moving on to the parallel situation. Okay, the third example, we are going to talk about how to write an equation of line in the slope intercept form that is parallel to the given line 3x minus 1 over 4y is equal to 2. And this line should have the point 1 over 6, comma, negative 8. So this is how we are going to get the parallel slope. If this is the given line, will any line that's parallel to the given line, they have the same slope. You don't really need to do too much about it. You just remember this concept. The concept is you don't have to do anything. Perpendicular, we do have to do something though, right? All right, originally, this is the equation that we have. We don't know what the slope is because the y is not isolated. So that's our goal. We have to isolate y first. So let's work out this equation right here. Let's put down 3x minus 1 over 4y. That's equal to 2. And we are going to first minus 3x on both sides. So that this and that will be canceled. And this is negative 1 over 4. Let me put a negative on the numerator. So it will be negative 1 over 4 and the y on the side. And this is equal to, let me write this down first, negative 3x, and then this is plus 2. And now, perhaps this is slightly intimidating. This is negative 1 over 4 times y. What should we do to get rid of this negative 1 over 4? It's to divide by this number, isn't it? Dividing a fraction is the same as multiply by its reciprocal. And we're just going to do the reciprocal because we have to get rid of the negative 1 over 4. It's not the negative reciprocal. We're not doing the perpendicular slope, okay? So I'm going to multiply this side by 4 over negative 1. It's just a reciprocal. I know this is just what? 4 over negative 1, it's the same as just negative 4. But I want to write this down for you guys so that you will see this 4 and that 4 cancel. Negative 1, negative 1 also cancel. And we will end up with y by itself on the left hand side. And let's also put that down right here. 4 over negative 1, right? So I want to be consistent. Let's put that down right here. We multiply by 4 over negative 1 throughout this equation. They cancel each other out and we just get y by itself. And this is equal to and this is negative 4, and I should have put down a parenthesis around the negative 3x because we are multiplying. Negative 4 times negative 3, we get what? Positive 12, and that's the x term. And next, plus, this is negative 4 times positive 2, right? Negative 4 times positive 2, that's negative 8. And we're done. So this is the line, right? The original line. And we know the slope is right here. And the original slope is this, it's 12. Well, if that's the original slope, what's the parallel slope? This right here, it's not 11, it just means parallel, OK? What's the parallel slope? Same thing, right? same slope. So technically, we do have to take this into consideration, parallel slope, but it just happened to be the same. OK, we are ready because now we have the slope and we can use the uh, point slope form. So let me write that down, y minus y1, well, where's x1, where's y1? This point, so I can label that x1, y1. OK, so let me finish that. y minus y1 is equal to the slope, and technically we are using this, the parallel slope. And we will open the parentheses, x minus x1, right? Whoops, I should write down the x1 first for you guys, first, like that. And yes, all these things are the things that we have to remember. OK, at the end, just putting all the numbers into this formula and then work it out. So this is y minus y1 is negative 8. So let's put that down, negative 8. And that's equal to parallel slope, which is 12. So let's put on 12 here. And then open the parentheses. x is just x. x1 is the 1 over 6, right? And that's minus. This is 1 over 6. That's the setup. And now just 
do the work. So as you can see, y minus negative 8 is what? y plus 8. And then we work out this parentheses. We take the 12 and distribute into the parentheses. 12 times x is just 12x. And this is positive 12 times negative 1 over 6. This is like 12 on the top over 6. So you have 2, and that's minus. Okay? 12 times 1 over 6 is 2, and that's minus. So one more step will be done. Well, this is y plus 8. Subtract 8 here, subtract 8 here, cancel, cancel. At the end, y is by itself, y is equal to 12 x minus 2 minus 8 that's minus 10 y is equal to mx plus b slope intercept form for the answer of this one so hopefully this video helps and if you have any questions you guys can leave a comment down below and if you guys like this video please hit that like button thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time okay. that's it